The Last of Us Part 1, is it worth it? Well, I'm gonna give you guys some information that'll help you decide, but at the end of the day, it is pretty subjective. You could take 20 people and half of them say it's definitely worth it and half of them say it's not. Now, again, it's gonna be subjective. It's gonna be dependent on each person. I'm gonna try to give you guys some information. And like I said, you could take it from there and you know, kind of couple that with all the information that Naughty Dog previously released about this uh, kind of you know rebuilding of the game, if you will, and, uh, and all that good stuff. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is going to be I am going to be showing you guys a scene uh, from kind of like the late game in the background just because I think it's one of the most stunning visually and does a good job at showcasing kind of the beauty um, of, of just the world they've recreated if you will so uh, if you don't want any spoilers if you never played the game and it's a very old game then maybe just listen to what I'm saying and maybe not watch this portion until we get to a portion where I'm going to be showing you guys some of the settings as well because there's some stuff to talk about there also by the way if you do enjoy this one be sure to leave a like subscribe for more I'll also worth noting, uh, PlayStation Canada did provide me with a copy of this game early. Uh, now, this is not a sponsored video. I am in no way obligated to say anything good uh, about this. Uh, I'm giving you guys my honest opinion, and that's the, th the thing, right? At the end of the day, it's my opinion. Now, if you've seen what I said prior when it first got announced, I was already on board. I'm one of those persons that, I mean, you give me some upgraded visuals, and, and, and I'm on board. Now, the price point, we can argue that all day. Uh, like I said, it's at the end of the day, it's, it's going to be up to you whether it's worth buying at full price, waiting for a sale or not buying it at all that's completely up to you now my experience with it I, the Last of Us, the first game, is one of my favorite games of all time. I think it's one of the best games of all time, and I've beaten it multiple times. I beat it multiple times on PS3, then I beat it multiple times on PS4 uh, with the remaster, um, and now I've beaten it again on on you know PS5 with The Last of Us Part 1 uh, remake. Now, that's the thing, right? They have rebuilt everything from the ground up. You need to understand that everything has been completely re like like overhauled, right? So we're talking about all they redid all the facial animations, all the character models, the textures all the lighting all the shadowing um everything they, they just kind of rebuilt everything straight from the ground up and you can tell if you see the side-by-side -side comparisons which is not what we're doing here um you can see the the there's a vast difference right the just little subtleties even sometimes it's just way way um way better looking and it's just it's just beautiful in and of itself now you have two different kind of game modes you can actually choose from and again i'm going to show you guys all the options and settings in a second uh, because there is a lot here but we have two different options under display and that is fidelity and performance now i personally played a fidelity because i rather like i said nicer visuals so fidelity is 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 um basically favoring resolution over frame rate. So we got 4K, uh, 30 Hertz. So the target is 30 FPS, which interesting though, it, it said before, I guess they patched it, but uh, prior to launch, it was actually saying targeting 40 FPS. So I guess they tweaked it. Um, that's kind of interesting that I, I just realized. But uh, then performance, it says balanced resolution and frame rate. Uh, so it's going to be dynamic 4K or 1440p uh, per video output set system settings. And it's going to be targeting 60 FPS. So uh, if you want, you know, the best fidelity possible, but you don't care to sacrifice some frame rate, then, you know, go for, for fidelity. And uh, if you rather have, you know, buttery smooth 60 FPS, go for performance, you know, uh, and all that good stuff. Now, in terms of everything else, um, <clears throat> excuse me, there is a lot of accessibility options. I'm just gonna throw it up on, on, in the background. So this is a portion that you can watch if you were avoiding, you know, kind of visual spoilers. Um, there are so many different accessibility options that they've they've added that just kind of helps different people like different people have different kinds of disabilities different hindrances and uh this just kind of really uh you know adds a wide variety of stuff that really helps people with all kinds of different you know um like i said hindrances and disabilities and things like that so that's massive maybe not every single person uses it but for the people that do use it it's there for them and that's huge um of course you got all your different languages and different things like that you know all your audio and, and whatnot as well uh subtitles different things like that with ps5 I've got the power of the DualSense controller, which I love this thing, okay? I've loved this thing since PS5 came out. So you have the adaptive triggers, which, um, it's subtle, but it's there. So like pulling a bow, you're gonna have some resistance in the triggers and things like that, for example. A uh, bunch of different stuff like that. Of course, you got your haptic feedback and, and whatnot. Um, so lots of stuff going on there uh, that they've added that wasn't, you know, previously there. Uh, 
variety of different uh, kind of settings as you guys can see and uh, whatnot as well. Now the game has of course the main game, The Last of Us, and it's also included with Left Behind. So they redid Left Behind as well, the DLC. Um, now there is no multiplayer in this version because um, I guess, you know, maybe server things, I don't know, plus they're working right now on uh, obviously uh, the standalone kind of multiplayer game. So um, I guess, I don't know, I don't know the, the logistics behind it. I just know there's no multiplayer in, in this version of the game, but there is left behind included. Um, so then you also have the extras category. Now the extras category is interesting because you always have that. You had that in, you know, the previous last of us, but for example, if you go to concept art, you have concept art from the original game, but you also have new concept art from, uh, the last of us part one, the 2022 version, right? Uh, which by the way, this game's already nine years old. Can you believe that we're going on 10 years next year? Um, so yeah, so we've got a bunch of brand new concept art so you, you can view the old concept art and new concept art which is really cool you have a model viewer so you can view uh, all the different you know uh character models different things like that kind of like also how they, how they had that in the last of us part two you have different skins the different skins are actually really cool because uh both joel and ellie have different kind of uniforms and that also includes things like for for the weapons as well uh ellie has more than joel actually she has a wide wide uh roster of shirts from all different kinds of uh uh, you know other IPs from PlayStation. You know, there's like God of War. There's uh, there's uh, Ghost of Tsushima. There's a bunch of different ones in here, which is really really cool. Um, Ratchet and Clank, different things like that. So uh, you got more clothing options as well. If that's your thing, you have a filter gallery, which they you know pretty much always have that has a bunch of different kind of filters you can set, uh, whatnot. You know, like eight bit things like that. Gameplay modifiers. Um, so th different things like one shot, uh, slow motion, bullet speed mode, infinite ammo, you know, infinite crafting, mirror world, different things like that. Uh, also, when you start a game, uh, you can enable permadeath. Uh, so it means like if you die, that's it. Your game completely restarts. Some people like doing that. So that is an option. Um, beyond that, there's also speed run mode as well. So it'll track uh, your, your speed run. Uh, you can you can view it by category, uh, uh, you know, whether you want to check out the uh, part one or left behind. For example, uh, New Game Plus or Classic or different things like that. Challenge, you know, whether it's what you know what difficulty it's on, and it'll it'll also save like your your time for each chapter as well. So for the prologue and so on and so forth. So you can see kind of each chapter split up. Um, by uh, by category of, of that kind of sense so pretty cool that they have the the speed run thing as well uh, and you can kind of get nitty gritty with that because a lot of people do love speed running that's just kind of built in integrated into the game so uh that's cool then i got other stuff right <clears throat> excuse me like commentary you got director commentary you can turn on different things like that um and uh, all that so there's a lot of different extras that you can see behind the scenes different things like that making of the last of us making the last of us left behind there's a the whole podcast thing as well and a bunch of different stuff like that so there's a lot added in in terms of you know just the options of the game now like i said getting back to the actual you know game itself um it's the last of us right it's the story it's they didn't change the story um there might be subtle things that i i didn't pick up on that they might may have changed in the background uh, and different things like that uh just like maybe you know models of like building models or character models just to look more uh, I guess cohesive if you will or co coherent I don't know which word I'm actually trying to look for anyways um, anyways just kind of more uh, in line with you know everything that we see in the last of us part two so that is one thing I noticed you know some buildings actually look a little different and um, different things like that uh, obviously like I said the character models they redid everything to look a little bit more uh, especially with the facial animations and all that more closely to the performance that the actors and actresses did for their uh you know their mocap performances things like that try to get the facial anima animations more on par with that so there's a lot of work that went into it so you know you got to understand that like they really rebuilt this whole game right it, it's the same game yes um and the gameplay um the gameplay is still that core last of us gameplay but it, I don't know, maybe, maybe I just, I'm not remembering correctly, but it, it felt smoother to me, uh, for sure. It felt like, you know, it played a lot smoother than it did, uh, in the original. So I think that there's some stuff there and they did say actually that they tweaked stuff like the AI system as well. So they're even, even just kind of like the mechanics and the coding behind the game, they even tweaked. And this is what they, they mean when they say they rebuilt it from the ground up. Like they literally took everything about this game and it just, 
they just rebuilt right they had the foundation there but then they rebuilt upon that foundation and that's what this game is and that's why um you know it, it is what it is right and it's selling at the price point that it is because it's not just a remaster it's not like they just went in and they upscaled some stuff maybe touched up you know some shadowing or some textures things like that no they scrapped the whole thing and they rebuilt it all the building models all the textures all the facial animations all the character models um you know different things like that uh like i said the ai system so even the coding like it's it's pretty impressive all that went into it um the ai definitely feels like they do a, a little bit more now um that said you know obviously in the harder difficulties it's, it's pro probably going to hang back a little bit uh i replayed it on an easier difficulty to go clean up a couple trophies that i missed you know on the first kind of run uh but that's the other thing you can platinum the game in one run if you're following a guide to get all the artifacts collectibles th different things like that um so yes i have platinumed it by the way at the time of recording this so um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. I think the game is beautiful. It's stunning. Naughty Dog just continues to show that they are just technological geniuses um, and they just really know how to make a game look in insane. Um, honestly, I don't think there's a game out there that looks better than this. When it came out on PS3, I said that. Then they remastered it. I'm like, whoa, this is like, again, the best looking game. Uh, and then they've done it again. Uh, and this is, there's no game out there that exists that looks better graphically, visually than this game. Now, like I said, if you're fine playing the remastered version, then, you know, maybe this isn't for you. But like I said, everything has been, you know, rebuilt. Uh, it's going to be a better and smoother gameplay experience, even because like I said, they tweak the AI stuff and other behind the scenes stuff that's kind of going on under the hood. And uh, overall, like I, I enjoyed it. I think this is a perfect 10 out of 10 game. Uh, I think this is the definitive experience, the de definitive edition uh, and way to play The Last of Us Part 1. Like I said, is it going to be for everybody? Maybe not. Uh, at the end of the day, you got to decide, is is this something that sounds worth it to you? Um, and decide from there. I can't tell you what's worth it or not to you because it's all subjective. To me, it's worth it. Uh, I think that it's very impressive. I really enjoyed my time with it. I'm just trying to give you guys as much information as possible and you can kind of take it from there. So let me know if you have any questions, but I think that covers most of it. I hope I didn't leave anything out, but that is my review of The Last of Us Part 1, a classic game that has been completely re, re you know, reimagined or not reimagined, but recreated rather visually. And, uh, you know, like I said, even technologically to just... Uh, really kind of give you an even greater experience with this already epic story so i really enjoyed it perfect 10 out of 10 for me let me know what you think in the comments below if you enjoyed this one leave a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys soon another one tell them my friends game on thanks for watching is everything you were hoping for it's got its ups and downs but you can't deny the view though